President Trump has certainly had a rocky relationship with public opinion, but his difficulties haven't done anything to make people think better of Hillary Clinton, which is kind of weird. A new Gallup poll shows Clinton approval rating at 36 percent, an all-time low, or disapproval has hit 61 percent. That's an all-time high. What is going on here exactly? Something bigger, perhaps? Julie Alvin is digital editor at Time, Inc., and she joins us tonight. Julie, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So what I find so striking about these numbers, and I, I really feel, I don't want to pile on Hillary Clinton. She lost. That's enough punishment, as far as I can tell. But I think this may say something bigger and more interesting about the country. Her numbers among women are much worse than you would think for someone who is the self-described champion of all women. A lot of women don't like Hillary Clinton. Why is that? I... I, I can't necessarily answer that question. I think it depends on who you're talking to. So, you know, if you're look at, looking at these polls specifically, it showed that there was a drop from 79, uh, 79 to 78% among Democrats who were taking this poll. And the poll among Republicans was from 11% to 5%. So I don't know if, you know, the number of women who support Hillary Clinton is really the issue here, and really more that this is split across party lines. And I have a lot of thoughts on, on why that Well, no, be. that's that is definitely true. Of course, mm -hmm. it's a party line thing. It always has been. But her numbers among women are soft. She's been asked about it repeatedly. She lost women under 30 to Bernie Sanders, you remember, in the primaries. She lost married women in the general. And she was asked over at MSNBC the other day, why is that? And she said, and I'm quoting, I think they, women, are publicly disrespecting themselves. I don't know what their own, I don't think they know what their own arguments are. Well, I In other think words, they're too silly to know that, that I'm a great person. Isn't that kind of patronizing? I mean, I've heard this argument from Fox News hosts many times that when Hillary Clinton says that, you know, women didn't vote in their best interest by voting for Donald Trump, uh, and I certainly agree with her on that point. I think that saying that her approval ratings around, among women are low doesn't necessarily mean that the approval ratings of Donald Trump are then high for those same women. So, you know, there are certainly things that Hillary Clinton has skeletons in her closet. She has been criticized but, most specifically by Donald Trump and the GOP and this network in particular okay. over and but, over and but over hold again. Hold on, hold on, Julie. We're not talking about. I mean, Fox is one among many, many networks, and I know that it's this thing where you know if it's Fox's fault. Okay, but I don't think the majority that of the... married women voted against her. And unfortunately, they're not all our viewers. Well, so I here's understand. my question: If I said, if you said. You know, women are doing this, and I said, you know, the thing about women is they just don't know what's in their own interest. They just don't understand what they say. You would look at me and say, wow, that's patronizing, maybe even sexist. Why is it okay when Hillary says that about women? Well, I think that she was right in saying that women who voted for Donald Trump are voting against their own interests, given the fact that Donald Trump has a history of bragging about, you know, alleged sexual uh, harassment against women, given that a lot of the programs that he's put in place from the minimum wage to, or from, you know, advocating for not as high of a minimum wage to the health care bill are things right. that well, would disproportionately I mean, affect view, women. So but, but, but that's don't my view. That's also uh, proven uh, out by fact. Well, no, it's not. I mean, these are obviously subjective statements that you're making. They're not factual statements. But let me just ask you, don't adult women have the right to decide what they think is best for them without being patronized by liberals? They absolutely have the right to make the decisions that they believe are best for them. But I think that you could also say in this election that a lot of people in a lot of rural low income people actually voted against their interests in voting for Donald Trump because, you know, the health care bills that he would propose and the tax bill that's going through are things that are going to disadvantage them. So, you know, you can say this is sexist. You can say this is elitist. But it really if you actually look at the policies that are in place, a lot of these do disadvantage women. They disadvantage low income people and they disadvantage People who voted for Donald Trump, I don't think that that's patronizing. I think that it's true. Well, it might be worth meditating on why they did that. Maybe if you think the other people hate you because they don't like your skin color or your gender or where you live, you know, maybe that kind of wrecks the deal for you. You're not going to vote for someone you think hates you. I think that's true for both sides. But let me ask you this. Hillary's book tour kind of went on forever. I think these numbers, my guess is these numbers are going down because she's been doing all these media appearances trying to sell this book. She's incredibly rich already. Why do you think she had to go on the world's longest book tour and try to sell this book beyond the point that people really wanted to buy it? What was that about? I don't think that it was beyond the, pe the, people want the point that people wanted to buy it. I know a lot of people were really hungry to sort of learn what lessons she took away from this election. And, you know, what I really want to know is 
why are we talking about Hillary Clinton's approval ratings? Like, I want to talk about Donald, Prump, Donald Trump's well, I abysmal bet you do. approval ratings. I bet ratings. you do, but Hillary Clinton kind of thrust herself. Look, if Hillary Clinton wants to, you know, move to Barbados and, you know, do whatever Hillary Clinton does in her spare time, that's fine with me. But Hillary Clinton placed herself at the center of public attention for almost a year trying to sell this book. And so I think it's fair to respond. I don't think I'm a Hillary obsessive or hater or anything like that. I mean, she's jumping around trying to be relevant. She wrote Why's a book. She's, an she's not a public figure. She's not in public office. Why? Why does she even have approval ratings? She's a civilian. I just don't understand. <laughs> I also don't think that. I mean, this is the most watched cable news network in the country, and I don't think that you know you guys can spend a lot of time inordinately bashing Hillary Clinton and then I'm wonder why people her. don't I'm like not, her. I'm actually not bashing. But let me just ask you one final question, okay? And I, I don't want to be mean. But can you think of a single interesting or insightful thing Hillary Clinton has ever said? I've covered her since 1992, and I have never heard one. Have you? Uh, yes, I can think of a, 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 a many interesting, insightful things. And, Hit and me with one things. profundity. I promise I'll, I'll let you, let, uh, let you deliver it. Well, I think that the fact that she acknowledged in her book various reasons that came to light about why she wasn't elected, including accounting for her own tactical mistakes, as well as accounting for some of the sexism that was leveled against her in the campaign, as well as accounting for, you know, the nationalism and populism that the Donald Trump campaign, uh, you know, played into. I think there was a lot of insight in that book. And you, know, you ask about the book tour, and, and I was somebody who wanted to read that book. I wanted to know right. what happened. I want to know why Donald Trump is our president. I want to know. I could have told you. Sexism. I've watched her a long time. I knew that was going to be the answer. You should have called me, and I could have that saved is not, you. That's not the answer, but we don't call male politicians shrill and unlikable, so it definitely played a part. I don't know if they are shrill and unlikable. I'd be happy to. And there are who are shrill and unlikable, and I'd be happy to say that. So you've challenged me, and I will rise to that challenge. Julie, thank you. Thanks. New revelations continue to threaten the legitimacy of the Mueller investigation. Up next, we'll talk to a congressional Republican who's been following this carefully and may have answers to some of the questions that have arisen recently. We'll ask him. Coming up.